Hello viewers, this is Expand One TV you are watching. Name Links is the best program that will reveal a lot of secrets about life. As we are approaching this new year, I mean a new year ahead of us, we want to give you the best of knowledge you would ever use. I mean the most useful one. My name is Johnny and I will be bringing you details into what you should expect to succeed in the years ahead of you. So if this is your first time watching us, we will just, you know, implore you to subscribe, share, follow us, and then put your comment down there. Today I want to explain some little secrets to you. Why some things happen to us, why tragedies, misery, and other things, most unexpected stuff do happen to us without we even thinking of planning of, or even having any reason why those things should happen. Okay. This life is full of mysteries, secrets, tragedies. I mean, a lot of things happen to us that we don't even expect or we don't even know, thought it would have happened to us. So we are at the end of one year. Another year is approaching. New year is just at the corner whereby people will experience a lot of things. It's a year that some people presume that it should be a year of happiness and other stuff because they are celebrating one or two, somebody who have died, and then that is what some people believe. I don't believe in those things though, but I'm just teaching you the real logical truth about life. What you should know to excel in the years ahead of you. We always know wants to live a better life. We want to be happy. We want to live to enjoy our fruits of labor. We want to live to see our grandchildren. We want to live to see how best we have accomplished things. But most of these things do end up, you know, in a way that we do not anticipate. Why so? Just yesterday I heard someone died, somebody who had been struggling for his or her documents abroad have just, you know, committed suicide. Why is it that someone will try to take his or her own life? Why is it that some year can be so bitter that some people feel life is worth nothing and they, they rather prefer dying than even living? Why is it that most of the times where we are expecting you know, some kind of merriment or happiness or something, then something different takes place and then our life becomes all of a sudden shattered? Why does these things happen? Is it the making of the Creator or some demonic forces in our family? Or what, what do we expect? We Africans believe in a lot of things. We believe in God, we believe in Jesus, we believe in the Bible, we believe in prophets. The Muslims believe in Muhammad, we believe in other spiritual people that they are the enlightened ones. If you are watching us this time, you are more enlightened. The same as them, the same as the prophet you've known to be because every secret originates from the creator of this world. And today I'm going to show you why you can, what you can do to attain the years ahead of you to make it a success, to avoid tragedies, to avoid other calamities that, you know, might befall you. Because as we are proceeding in this life, things change, and we've also got to change the way we do things, the way we move around, and then make sure that we are trying to, you know, move step ahead of what nature has designed. Because everything that we talk about, everything that is happening to us, everything that happens to human is in the course of time. So if you have followed us for a while, you realize that we've explained to you that everything just becomes visible the very day you are given your name. Your name contains all the energies that will drive you to your destiny. And destiny was taken from the word destination. Destiny means that your life has a point, it has an ending point. You end somewhere. So once you are heading to your destination, your destiny can be measured by the power that is taking you to your destiny, to your destination you are going. And that power which is driving you to your destination originates from the names you have. Names are spirits, names are powers. Names are energies. I keep on repeating this. Names are spiritual forces that have a lot of impact on our life. So whatever we do, whatever we say, whatever we, we, we react to have effects with 
from the names that we have. If you want to know more about what your name is doing in your life, just contact us at the numbers below and we will assist you with whatever you need to know about yourself. It is not a mystical teachings, it is not demonic teachings, it is not something that is against the teachings of God, no. Because the God himself, which we know in the Bible, changed most of his prophets, their names. That is the reason why Jacob's name was changed to Israel. That is a major change. What this one tells us is that the name you have, or when you change your name, it doesn't mean it's only successful people or poor people that must change their name. Because Jacob was really successful, rich, and powerful by then, but now he still needs some energy, some favor from the Almighty. And the best favor he could get was a name change that must be given to him by the Creator. Now, as the year is fast ending, we will be entering the new year, which people need directions. People need hopes. People need where to place their legs and their decisions, where to invest, where not to invest. Because the next year ahead is a year for someone not to invest. It's a year for someone to invest. It's a year for someone to reap what they have sown. It is also a year for someone to conserve, to not just to lie low, keep and save what you have worked for. It's a year that someone has to rest. It's a year someone has to marry. It's a year that someone will enter into their divorce era. It's a year that someone will be so strong in initializing or to initiate some kind of course that they have planned for some time. It's so this year that is ending have come along with so many fortunes and misfortunes, but next year also have its own package. And it is going to change the life of every person. Some people will be changing to various categories of uh, uh, life sections. Now, this whole life revolves and changes every nine years in your life. That is human life I'm talking about. In every human, your life pattern repeats itself once in every nine years. So what you passed through last year will repeat itself next nine years coming. So, if you do not know what this thing stands for, then you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know how things are going to be. That is why we are taking the pain to explain some things to you. If you will need further explanations into this, then you contact us, we will explain them to you. We just, we have some small arrangement on it and you will be able to understand what you have to do next year. You only have to contact us, give us your birthday. I mean, the day you celebrate your birthday. We are not say, saying your full date of birth. We don't need that. So if you are born on 10th March, give us 10th March, and we will tell you how next year is going to be for you. If you are born on 20th January, say 20th January, one thing you must know is that the date you are giving us must be the correct date. It shouldn't be a speculated date. It shouldn't be a guest date, a date that you chose for yourself. That one will reveal wrong things about you. Because as I've always said in my speeches, we don't have the power to reveal your actual date of birth. So you give us and we will explain it to you. Now, among these nine cycles of life, let's make the comparison from how trees and plants grow. When you sow a seed into the ground, it takes some weeks for it to germinate. Okay, after germination, it takes some time to grow. It changes in stages until it bears its fruit into their maturity stage. Then the, tree, the, the seed that you planted now turns to the same thing again at its maturity stage. And you can now replant, harvest, replant, harvest. These cycles also affect human beings as well. We also go through the same cycles, we also go through the same thing whereby things repeat themselves in our lives every nine years consecutively. But then, the, what makes human beings different is that human beings are conscious, intelligent beings. We are the people that think and recognize our Creator. 
we are the being that tries to understand why some things can happen, why issues of, you know, I mean, a, a, a tragedy and these things, why they happen. Human beings doesn't think, uh, I'm sorry, animals doesn't think about why tragedy happens. That is why when one of them is, you know, caught by maybe a, the, the a predator, let's say, uh, 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 the tiger catches one of them, they will just look at it, stand there, and then the tiger takes it away. But we human beings think most things happen to people that we sometimes we can't actually place our hands where exactly this is coming from, why this happened. In the local version of our Ghanaian language video I made, I uh, showed a video of a man who have stayed in abroad 59 years, he's 59 years old, came back to Ghana, sent a car down so that he will use it because he knows that he'll be retiring and come back to his own country, Ghana, and then rest. Suddenly, this man met armed robbers, shot him in the head, I mean, just you know, dismantled the head, and then ended his entire life in this misery. As people are coming from abroad more of this year into the country, into their various African countries and various parts of the world to meet their family, most will never return. Why wouldn't they return? Because there is someone who is envious of their traveling and they will make sure they eliminate them. Some will go as long as going for an African power, a charm or a spell, some juju, to make sure they eliminate someone that have suffered more enough to make it out there. Why are people behaving this way? And why will some people achieve? Or how, why will some people succeed in this kind of adventure that they will be embarking on? Because people make decisions at the wrong time, in wrong hour, wrong day, wrong month, even in wrong seasons, people make decisions that are at wrong and odd hours. This is the reason. If you are to be in a certain era where you have to take care of yourself and you are at a place where you are messing yourself up, tragedy is bound to befall you. For instance, I will be explaining from one to nine years cycle where, which every year what is possibly to happen in your life. So the first year in everyone's life when I say the first year, for you to know your first year, whether it's your first year or second or third or nine or whatever, you need to contact us with your actual date of birth, as I've said earlier. Then we will tell you the kind of year you are in, and then if you prefer, we can prepare a guide for you that will lead you throughout the whole of next year, so that you will never fall victim or pray to your enemy or your, someone who wishes to end your life in a misery. You will be able to escape that. The job we are here to do is, the, is a very big one and it is for your own good. Okay, so the first year in someone's life per the date reveals that the person has to start something new. The second year is socialized. Talk to people who will be of assistance to you. The third year is socialized. Talk to people. Engage with more people and then expand whatever you want to do. The fourth year is whereby nature will be tempted to try you, to challenge you in whatever you have done. So you realize that whatever you have put forth in the first, second, and third year will be challenged. There will be a lot of stumbling blocks and other issues popping in and there. Your health will be challenged. Your finances will be challenged. I mean, your business and other stuff, your friends and other things will be challenged. And you will find yourself being challenged in various angles because that is a year where the forces of nature will be against you. And these are natural things. You cannot do, it, uh, do away with them. So you better have an idea of it and know how to put yourselves in place so that you will not fall a victim of circumstance to an era whereby you, an unexpected, had I known, as if I know, if I should have known, all this worse comes in when people ignorantly act in the way of fate. So don't just rush into the year with so much ambitions. 
whereby you don't even know whether it's a year for that progress or that activity to be embarked on or even not. Because planting a good seed, okay, in a rough or uh, in a sandy or some kind of rocky soil will not yield nothing but rather misery and disappointment. And this is what most people are busy planting. If you happen to enter your fourth cycle year next year, you realize that everything hanged on fire from the middle of this year coming. Realize that things were very bit tough. And this is the reason why you need to know the way forward. This is not a demonic power revealing. This is not spiritism. This is not something that you have to know move against because it is demonic. There is nothing like demonic on this earth. Everything demon sits within us. And then we have some people who conjure forces together, who can conjure forces together with combination of other stuffs to create something harmful for you. This is the reason why we have people that do all those things, all those bad things we call the juju and those uh, casting spells and other stuff. So if you are hearing us for the first time, I will please urge you to watch most of our videos and if you don't understand our local la Ghanaian language then you can put a comment there because we will now be doing more videos in English so that most of our followers outside the country can understand why they need to be a step ahead of their enemy. They need to be a step ahead of whatever decision they are taking because you cannot just venture into nature with, with I believe, I feel, with your sense of emotions. It will never go away. Some people move by their instinct. I do not say instinct doesn't work, but instinct normally fails. What about if your instincts are just uh, negative edges of your instinct, and then you fall prey to things that you do not wish? What can you do about it? So, every year, this is what we do for people. You call us, you bring in your dates, we tell you how the following year will be, what you should do. There are some particular years you don't even have to borrow money anywhere and put in your business because it will never yield any profit. You run at a loss and be indebted to some kind of things that will take your happiness away. There are some particular years you need to invest, borrow money, put in your business and the business can flourish. There are some particular years you have to relax and then just reap the fruit of your labor. The efforts you've put across for the, some years ahead will yield fruit for you. There are some particular years you need to have your vacations. You need to go somewhere, relax, calm your nerves down, and then program for the following year ahead. There are some particular years just for socialization. Communicate your ambitions, your decisions, your plans to people of, you know, of, of some caliber of people, let them know what you are about and then you will get people to assist you. So if you do not plant at the right season, remember, don't expect any yieldings at the time of harvesting. And this is the mistake most people will be doing in this December, that they will be going to churches, other places, offer a lot of their hard and you know, monies to people in the name of to bless them for the following year. Whereas nature is not blessing you for the year. This is something logical. This is something that can really be fixed. And that's why we are explaining. I said that before you, 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 you fly out in an airplane, there are some people that checked whether the weather is fit for the airplane to move. We call them meteorologists. These people have studied the weather. They know the time the air will blow that will not be conducive for the plane to fly. They know the time that the clouds will know destabilize the air flight. They know these things and they can tell you what can happen in months ahead of you. Do we call them spiritism? And pastors and the so-called people who claim do not seek these things, they are people who are obeying these things. They call them scientific. This is a spiritual science research. A factual principle to truth that can never fail. So if you want to embark on a journey, 
Seek for the person with the right knowledge about your journey. Let the person coach you. This is simple. This is what we are offering the world. This is what we are offering our local and foreign people that if you want to embark on something, do not just speculate with it. Do not just feel it will work and then you just push money in. Because it's not easy to come by money these days. You really have to wake yourself out hard. And after raising your thousands of dollars, you put it into a business and the business collapse. Or you hand it over to someone, the person runs away with your money. And some people even go mad for this. All this is avoidable if you have taken the right advice from the right sources. So we are here to reveal to you that as the year is going by, we have opened our doors to help you. The first people that will call, the first people that will contact us for a thorough analysis of what the year will be for you, they will have 50% bonus in whatever fee that we charge. And that is what we are going to do because we want you to feel the true impact of how nature has been designed. Life is not about what you feel. It is about how nature is directing you. You are not of yourself. You have been controlled by energies, forces, powers. We call them spirit. Others call them energy. Some people call them uh, uh, some powers revolving around us. All these people are moving in a certain angles of life that can be measured that we can ascertain their form of operation. And once we know their way of operation, then we can give an informed decision as how you should do your things, how you should move in the line of their work, and you will be able to escape a lot of pitfalls that will be laid before you by what you might term as your enemy. Because we know that your enemy is yourself. You harm yourself, you destroy yourself, and at the end of the day, you try to find someone to blame. Because we hate justice, we wouldn't like to blame ourselves. But we name links here, we explain everything to you in a plain and white stuff because we are there to reveal the truth to you. So as life revolves every nine years, where are you going? How is next year going to be for you? Is the year going to be a successful one for you? Is the year going to be a destructive year? Is the year an expansion year for you? Is next year going to be your year of achieving? Is next year going to be your year of reaping what you have sown? What have you sown even at all? If you've not sown anything, don't go bothering some God or somewhere to bless you as the year is going by. You need abundance. I need car next year. I need houses. Meanwhile, you have nothing doing. Life doesn't offer anything on a silver platter. There's nothing like free meals. There's nothing like free gifts. Nothing goes out for free. Put in an effort and then nature will reward you in the same proportion of the effort you put in. That is a secret to life. That is a secret to life. So don't get deceived by this 31st night. This 31st night watch hours for pastors is a harvesting year. They are planning a whole lot of things, and they wouldn't be happy with what I'm saying, but I don't care. They are not there. Because, but one thing I know is that this life has been designed to be this way. Okay? But let me explain one thing to you. Because I'm not speaking in this order to destroy someone's job. No. Because already you know, the world has been designed that things must be messed up for life to go on. But it is the absolute responsibility of you watching me now to decide that where you are, you are fulfilled. If you are fulfilled, remain there. If you are not and you have questions unanswered, it means keep on searching. Keep on digging for the actual truth. But one thing I want to assure you is that the world has been designed for people to work hard and eat. There's nothing like prayers. Prayers doesn't work. No one answers prayers. I'm sure you will never understand me. Nobody answers prayers because if there is a God who is answering prayers, then that God is a killer. That God might be a wicked God. And I do not believe that the God who created us is that type, is a wicked God. The reason why I'm saying no one is there to answer prayers is that let's assume uh, someone who sells coffin, okay, is praying for God to give him markets. And then somebody is, in this 31st night, is praying for a long life. Who should God answer their prayer? 
If God answers the coffin seller's prayer, it means more people must die. Or people must come to them to buy the coffin. Because coffin is just a, a, a dead body's you know, cage. We put dead bodies in. You don't want to die. Somebody is ready to give you a cage when you are die, put you in. So who is answering that prayer? So when I say there's no God, this life is about putting in an effort. So if somebody kills you, somebody's job has already happened. So you see that this life we are in is full of people trying to prey on people's predicaments. So if you allow yourself to be used, then you are going to be food for some people. That is what I mean. But if you think wiser, then you can be a step ahead of the predicaments. Well, even when it happens, you will be a step ahead. So let's assume that someone has gone to buy a car, as we have already we have been doing every day. If your car develops a fault, or if your car gets an accident, you crash somebody, or somebody hits you, whatever, and there's something. That is whereby somebody's business happened. So where do you think should we place with my car so that I will come and buy a spare part from you, so that I will send my car to a mechanic to fix it for me, take money from me, so that the more I'm hitting my car with people, the more a mechanic is becoming richer. Is that what we call prayers? It's high time we reason deeper into what we call prayers. What you wish to receive is the downfall of someone. So it is not the God making to make sure somebody goes down, but it is rather the forces in nature is already working around this. Somebody's downfall is just being placed, is, is fixed by the forces of nature. That is why you must do something to earn a living. You must work hard. You must know the systems of the spiritual order. Work towards it so that you can know the time that there is a hole in front of you. You can escape it and still be working. If not, your entire life can shatter in the single of an hour. A minute, seconds, you'll be no more. Someone will pray very hard for God to bless him or her. One day, somebody will dash the person a brand new car. Inexperienced in driving, they drive at top speed and kill themselves. Do you think it is God who answered this prayer? Don't even bring Satan in. Don't suppose that say and Satan and Satan. Satan is a product from God. And he is still living. One thing that you have no idea about is that you've never seen Satan before. You've not also seen God before. Satan and God is one entity. One's power in the same being, manifesting in different hours, different seasons. So that thing you call God, whom you are praying to give you liberty and freedom in next year, that same God will be ushering somebody into their doom. It's a season. God is all time, all encompassing, all season. He is in the evolution and he is in involution. In and out is the God we are talking about. So. If we speak the truth to you, you can choose to take it or not. Because we know that the world has been designed in a way that some people must still remain adamant. So that some people will still you know, go on with life. That is the secret you should know about prayers. So this 31st night we are talking about, still so go and offer your big money to people to eat. Go and pray for somebody's life to go. Go and pray that so somebody will lose their money for you. If an armed robber steals from you, they are happy. The person who is stolen from and the family go broke and sad. This is life. This is the God we are talking about. This same God makes some people happy, makes some people sad. That is life. So we don't have a God who is there only to do good. And then we have another Satan who is there only to make sure that what God has been doing, they will turn it bad. And that same God who is good will be watching. So the earlier you understand the forces working on us, working within humans, the earlier you will be free, understand the process, and you will be able to go with it. As such as I was explaining earlier that if you grow, if you, you sow a seed, you really know that you need patience for the seed to germinate. You can never afford, uh, you know, force a seed to germinate the same day you put it on the ground. Never. But why is it that in people's life, 
they embark on a certain journey of wealth and they, or, or, or some job and they want to reap from it the same day. But there's a law holding this universal earth that the law of cause and effect. What you put in, you reap. Now, most names that people have tends to be very destructive and then have some uh, demonic, you know, when I say demonic, like names that attract most of the negative energies on this earth. So if your name attracts a lot of negative energy around you, then you should know that you've sown something and you are going to rip it. Because I'm not the one who gave you the name. Either you pick the name yourself or your parents gave you that name and it is destroying your life unknowingly. Why can someone's son or child who become a drug addict and even chase their parents out of their own house? You give birth to his child and the child will grow to be mad, smoke weed, cocaine, sniff a lot of hard drugs and then go crazy. Is that what you wish for your child? No. Some, the energies involved in them overrides their intentions, their emotions and destroys them. That is why you need the deeper side of life. You need to understand it before you can move on. Now, back to where I was saying about the seeding and the planting. If you know you cannot force a seed you put on the ground to germinate on the same day, then you should also understand that you can never force a natural order with your words to change things. You have to go with it. That is why most Christians nowadays are very disappointed because they believe they have been you know, used by God or by their pastors or by some people. They believe that God is not even there. They now believe that, I mean, God has neglected them because they've prayed all their life and nothing happened. Nothing has happened to them. They believe that they have been so nice, I mean, they have been so obedient to God. They have abstained from, um, I mean, uh, fornication. They have abstained from all the bad characters that the Bible talks about. But so nothing is working out for them. Why would not, why should something things work for you? Because the nature is not driven by your emotions. The life we live now is not driven by your ignorance. The life we're in now is not driven by what you feel. So what you feel and what you desire is nothing to the natural laws. You have to obey the natural laws to get whatever you want. So if you want some things in life, number one, acquire knowledge on what you want. Acquire knowledge on the steps you wish to take. Acquire knowledge on how to attain that thing and then maintain it. Acquire knowledge on how to understand every aspect, the process of acquiring it. A step-by-step -step approach to what you want and you will be able to achieve it. If not, forget about whatever else you are facing. Don't get disappointed and then blame your creator. The creator is so good that he has given every human being exactly what we need. What you need to succeed is already inside you. But it has been no misguided, misquoted, and manipulated by the forces of energy that is driving from your name. So the name you have is the cause of everything you are passing through. Being sickness, being accident, being disappointment, being poor, being madness, being failures, and whatever tragedies we are facing is as a result of the names we have. You can choose to blame any deity in your family, any spiritual you know, propagandists you might have, but that is not the true solution or true impact of what human beings are going through. Whatever we are going through have an origin that is more close to us. So if, for instance, within you is somebody who always lies, or somebody who is always trying to concord bad things, want to always deceive, steal, and do some, that kind of thing, what do you expect people to say, tell you? Always you see people trying to curse you, trying to harm you, and everywhere that comes of people's mouth towards you carries an energy that comes to you. That is why most of the bad people people normally curse end up being you know, in the same way that they have been doing to people. So the Bible says, he who that draws swords you know, die by the sword, because what a man shall sow, so shall they reap. And one bitter truth about this life is that people are raping some things they never know. They sold them by themselves. This is the misery part of the whole life. 
You see, being paid from what you did, but you never know you caused it. And one secret of the whole thing is about the names they have. It doesn't matter the kind of name you have. If you are watching us from now and your name is a Nigerian name, Ivorian name, uh, you, you, are, you are Ugandan, uh, Cameroonian, whatever African country you are coming from, whatever name you have, once this name is being spelled with alphabet A to Z, the name has equal energies that can destroy or manage your life for you. It doesn't even matter whether you were born in a wealthy family, because some people are from wealthy family, but their character is so worse that their parents wish they never gave birth to them. And that is not what we wish for you. So we are here to explain things to you. If you want to know more about yourself, you contact us. We will explain it to you. And then you will know why and how you react and act the way you do. If you also want to know what, how next year is going to be for you, what you should do, especially if you are a businessman or a woman, if you are thinking of investing into something big, consult us. This is one and only consulting platform that we will be able to get in-depth knowledge of or the idea of what you need to do and give you advice according to the system of the natural laws. This is what we have for you this time. Keep watching us. We'll bring you more explanation of deep secrets to you about life and names and watch more of our videos that we have already posted. We'll keep updating you with latest episode and the new trends that is happening globally. Thank you. Bye-bye.